Fall Fair 2022, and we will be interviewing local artist blacksmith Evan Finer. You want to tell us about yourself, introduce yourself, and uh, when did you start and how? Attacked by a wasp. Uh, my name is Evan Finer. I started blacksmithing when I was about 17 or 18. My younger brother was in 4-H and uh, I went to a meeting with him and they had a farrier working and I just was enamored. And then my father and I picked up a little rivet forge, a little anvil, and then I proceeded to piss the neighbors off for the next three years. Yeah. And I hear you have a bit of an artistic background as well? I work in sculpture with bronze, steel, and stone masonry, which is, I guess, sculpting in its own way. Cool. Uh, did you have a mentor when you started, or an instructor, or took some lessons? I was more or less self-taught for most of my youth, and then I ended up taking the uh, blacksmithing and metal casting courses at Selkirk College in Nelson, BC. And I had two mentors there, Kevin Kratz and uh, Dennis Klein. So when was that? In 2012 to 2014, I was working up there. Oh, yeah. Do you know if they still have the program running? Uh, just the blacksmithing program, I believe. Uh, what do you like making? Uh, sculpture and tools, really. Um, that's part of the reason why I got into blacksmithing was to make my own stoneworking tools, chisels, oh, yeah. hammers, and the like. So you make all your tools more than buying them? Um, I have some that you I have to buy for carbide tips and whatnot, but um, smaller, like uh, detailed chisel, bird beak chisel, stuff like that. I made a couple of my own brick hammers, and they're still working for the most part. Good, good. Uh, what's the challenge for you? Any pro skills or projects or something you'd like to learn? Or I need to learn how to make tongs, man. <laughs> I can't, cannot wrap my head around that. But, uh, you know, they're easy enough to find or buy. But it'd yeah. uh, be nice to get a handle on one day. Yeah, they're, they're not cheap if you buy them. No. Yeah. But you treat them right, they'll last forever. Oh, good, good. <laughs> uh, do you have your own shop or you work out of here? I mostly work out of here, but I do have an anvil at home and a coal forge that I fire up every now and then, but all my tools are here, so it's easier to just not oh, yeah. You prefer working with coal or propane? Um, they both have their benefits. Um, I like to work with coal as much as I can, so that skill set doesn't get rusty, part of the fun. Because, um, yeah, being able to maintain a good fire is a skill within itself, and if you don't practice, you lose it. Right on, right on. Uh, what's your favorite tool? A uh, four-pound hammer, which is somewhere around here. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> made by a friend of mine in um, in Edmonton. Um, so you said four four pounds. So you like a bigger hammer? Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah four-pound rounding hammer is normally what I swing. Yeah. Nice. And then, do you have a website or do you use social media for sharing your work? Or? Um, yeah, I'm on Instagram at uh, Evan Yukon. And I have not posted anything in like two years, but I'm hoping to get back to doing some more of that. But yeah, other than that, no website, just just the Instagram. Cool. Well, thanks for your time and thanks, keep, man. Keep on hammering. Yeah.